Okay, so this video is gonna be on how to copy things from Vim to another program or vice versa. Let's say you have some code in Vim you wanna to copy to Firefox or some stuff on Firefox you wanna to copy to Vim or maybe something you wanna copy between two Vim windows or some other program. How do you actually do that? Because if you're a Vim user and you know the basics, you know that Vim is very good at, you know, I can yank up this line, paste it a million times. It's very nice to be able to, you know, yank two words, paste those words out, etc. Copying and pasting is very nice inside of Vim, but how do you actually copy things to other programs? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how to do that in this video. Before I touch directly on that, you should know what, what is actually going on under the surface. Uh, and that is, what are registers in Vim? So the thing about Vim is you can, of course, copy things with Y, uh, and you can paste that out, but of course, that's only going to refer to the last thing you have yanked, the last thing you've copied. Um, but Vim has this very nice ability to copy things to particular registers. Now, registers are just little storage places where you can have, you can yank text and keep it for later. And each letter on your keyboard corresponds to a particular register. So I can save this line here to the A register. Now how I do that, I let's say I'll, I highlight this with capital V, I can save it to the A register by doing quotation mark A and then Y for yank. Um, or I can save this line to register B by saying quotation mark B and then Y for yank. Now we have saved both of these different lines to different registers. Now I can paste these out, in fact, I can paste them out in a different order. If I wanna paste them out, you just again use quotation marks to access the register, the register you wanna access, and then P. So now I've pasted out the stuff in the B register uh, right here, and I can paste out the stuff in the A register as well by doing quotation marks, A, and then P. So that's how registers work you can if you want to have you know all these different things saved to different registers it's very easy to do in vim now now that we've said that how do we actually do what we want to do how do we copy from you know vim to let's say another vim window or a browser or something like that i'll go ahead and pull up my browser so let me skip to you know the actual use case so let's say we have this line here and we want to copy it into our browser how do we do that now by default vim doesn't have this ability to access your system clipboard but getting this ability is actually extremely simple if you know what you're doing you can just compile a version of vim that has this uh, but if you don't know what you're doing, or if you're like me and you're lazy, you can just install GVim. Now what GVim is, I'll pull GVim up just to show you. Um, GVim is just a graphical version of Vim. Now you don't have to use this. I don't use it at all myself. This is the first time I've opened it. Um, but the thing about GVim is when you install it, it gives Vim generally the ability to, to copy to a special register that corresponds to your system clipboard. Uh, so I'm gonna close out of this thing and probably never open it again. Um, but GVim has given me the ability since I've installed it to use the plus buffer. Now the plus buffer is really just, a, or not buffer, plus register. Uh, the plus register is a register you can copy things to and that will automatically put it in your system clipboard. So I'm going to control V to highlight this line and I'm going to, going to do quotation mark to pick a register plus to pick that register and then Y to yank. So I've now yanked this into uh, that register and I can go to my browser and press control V the same way you would, would normally and see that it is now pasted in and I can go to this site. I can get whatever I need uh, and let's get something from here. Let's say... Uh, List explicitly installed packages, not in base with size and description. Okay, this is a nice line. I'm gonna copy this the same way that I do normally, and I can now access this copied line in Vim. So I can go here and I can say quotation mark plus to access that particular register and P to paste it in. And now you see that it has successfully pasted uh, the content from the browser to uh, Vim. So that's exactly what we want to do. So this is how you do it, but I will say, you know, quotation mark plus, you know, you gotta hold down shift, that's a little too much, too many key presses, we want it to be na nice and simple. Um, so what I do in my machine is I actually re, in my VimRC, I make bindings for these, and they're pretty much how you'd expect, because most programs, you know, they're gonna use control V or control C, 
Um, I actually have control P here for paste, but that's for another reason. Um, but uh, so I, you can just take these two uh, lines, put them in your vimrc, and whenever you run control C, it will yank the text, and whenever you run control P, it'll paste the text. Or you can do, uh, what is it, control V is the actual, I, I use vim bindings on everything. Sometimes I forget what the normal ones are, but I think it's control V is the more typical one. Um, but you can just put these lines in and save yourself a couple, you know, finger movements uh, in, you know, actually pressing these keys or whatever. Now I should say two, two final notes on this. Uh, first off, as I said, just throw these in your vimrc and they'll work. Uh, but you might want to consider instead of using lowercase p, using capital P. Um, if you don't know the difference between these, um, well, let me just show you an example. Let's say I yank this word, vino remap, and I go to the beginning of this line and I press lowercase p, and it actually is going to paste that stuff after the first letter. And that might annoy you. Uh, the diff, the if you want the other, if you want it to be pasted beforehand, you want to you want to have capital P. So you might want to contemplate having capital P as your default uh, paste thing here. Um, and I will say for Linux users, there are actually two different copying buffer or registers, whatever you want to call them. And that is, there's the plus, which is sort of your default system clipboard. And there's also primary selection, which is something a little different in Linux. And I will say that the line I actually have in my vimrc is this one, where I copy whatever is highlighted to primary selection, which instead of plus, you use the asterisk, the star. Um, and then I let the, um, the actual thing I've pasted be equal to that. It doesn't matter. But the reason I do this is because there are some, there are some things, uh, some programs in Linux that use primary selection instead of the system clipboard by default. I think my terminal works like that. So um, this is a more robust solution if you're a Linux user, because it'll work on more things, um, just because Linux has these two different options. Uh, but that's that's about it. So it's again, it's relatively simple. If you want to be able to copy and to copy and paste from Vim to something else, just install GVim and use the plus buffer or plus register. I keep wanting to call them buffers. I don't know why. Um, so you just you know copy or paste from the uh, plus. Um, now I'm losing track of all my words, copy and paste to the plus register. Um, and throw these lines in your vimrc if you want it even quicker. And that's about it. So see you guys next time. I hope that cleared some things up for you guys. I know people have asked about this. But yep, it's as simple as that. See you next time.